IIT Madras has once again firmly established its premier position in the country's educational map by securing the first rank in the overall category for the sixth consecutive term and the first rank in the engineering category for the ninth consecutive term in the NIR rankings. And joining us currently is the director of IIT Madras, Professor V. Kamakoti. So congratulations, first of all. Tell us, what is IIT Madras doing differently from other universities that are consistently coming on top? We are doing what is needed for the country. We will continue to do what is needed for the country. And that's very, very important. And that that takes, us as, takes us and keeps us in the top slot. Today, um, we have outreach. Um, that's highest in the priority. We have innovation. That's also very highest in our priority. Uh, we have been working towards some of the very important national needs. That's also very highest in our priority. And that makes us, uh, you know, keep quite vibrant at any point of time. And also very clear about national priorities, which is very well captured in the NARF. So today, outreach, inclusivity, TLRs, teaching, learning, uh, resources, uh, online, for example, these are all very much captured in the NARF. And since we are adhering to those, I think we are, uh, we, are, we, 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 we are scoring well there. So we are actually preparing for the exam according to the syllabus. <laughs> so at a time when technology is almost taking over, you know, it's changing by the minute, how are institutions like the IIT Madras keeping abreast of all these changes and, you know, changing its own curriculum in its own programs to keep themselves updated? Every 10 years we have to change the curriculum and that would be a massive change. What has happened here, we have removed some 10%, some 20% credit we have reduced and uh, we have brought in recreation courses, we have brought in interdisciplinary programs. So we can't be just grinding the old floor again and again. And, and if we are doing that, then we are doing a disservice to students, and automatically they become unemployable. So that's one very important thing. So, and only thing, see, we must understand that only uh, uh, thing that is constant in technology is change. And that change will be happening. You can't say that, you can't complain about change. Right? If technology doesn't change, then the world will not change. And the world is a bound to change because needs are dif becoming different. So we must have curriculums that basically adhere to, uh, you know, what is needed and uh, what is needed by the student, what makes them employable, etc. These are very high in the priority and we have been pushing it through our curriculum task force. The new curriculum task force has given a curriculum which is sort of very good, right? I'm sure kids have already started enjoying. They'll continue. So you were explaining to us about the parameters on which these rankings are done, and one such parameter is inclusivity. Yes. Uh, now, you spoke about how IIT Madras has significantly improved inclusivity, inclusivity in terms of gender. Uh, now, there's also criticism, uh, you know, not just with respect to IIT Madras, but IIT, IITs across the country, that there are very few faculty members who are chosen from the OBC community or the SCST community. How are we going to tackle that issue? That's nothing. So for us, we have, uh, we have almost... Uh, we are now maintaining a roster and uh, we are having uh, people representative from all the communities as per the Government of India norms. So that's a percentage reservation for each and we are maintaining that reservation. We have very few backlogs so, and we are finding excellent candidates there. So as such, IIT Madras is not facing the challenge. And uh, we also live in a time where there's so much stress for the students. It's a highly competitive world out there. Uh, I know for a fact that IIT Madras has several wellness programs that, uh, you know, you've initiated. But what are some of the challenges that you're facing and how are you trying to address, uh, you know, these issues? Uh, see, that uh, stress has been there forever. If you want to actually come out very big in life, you have to do hard work. Hard work cannot be termed as stress. Right? Every week I have been submitting, even when I did uh, B.Tech, not here, but in a, every week I have been submitting assignments in almost every subject. So every day we had an assignment. And we do, we did have, if you, if you are in uh, other universities, you do have the person who teaches doesn't set your question paper. So there will be five reference books and you have to study all the reference books. Here those types of stresses are not here. So uh, the point is that uh, there must be a focus. That's what we are telling the kids. I think schools must also ensure that focus. Parents should also help the kids focus during their engage rather than giving them all these mechanisms of mobile phone, uh, you know, Netflix and all these things like uh, OTTs, right? Uh, of course, these are all good entertainment mechanisms, but a lot of kids get completely stuck to it. They are not able to come out. And then obviously there will be stress. So very clearly there must be a focus and if you are the focus, then there will be no stress. Uh, the moment you cross some CGPA of 8, which is very easy to get in IIT Madras, right? uh, just you have to keep your ball rolling, you get good jobs. 
There is not a single candidate with CGPA le less than 8, uh, greater than or equal to 8, who is jobless. You have to study to get a good job. Right? It's a normal expectation. If you don't study, you just stay in the hostel, keep sleeping, then you will not get the stress will increase. So this is one very important thing that we would like to say. Just because they are asked to do a hard work, we have put night outs. I have continuously worked for 48 hours, even after I became a postdoc. Right? Hard work is very important. That cannot be put into, equated to stress. So people, the kids must, parents must counsel the kids at early age itself and help them differentiate between hard work and stress. This is my one, one new finding that I have. Hey, why not? Oh, stressed. Why not? I have an assignment. Hey, come on, I can't to put hard work. Okay. One last question. Sir, the IIT Madras has been at the forefront in bringing several initiatives, be it the sports quota. You have a first international campus. What next? What is going to be the next big project for the IIT Madras? Big project is that we want to, we have started a school of interdisciplinary studies uh, and a school of sustainability. I think that's going to go big. And we want to also strengthen our Zanzibar campus. Uh, and uh, I'm also personally trying to work on a uh, culture quota, like the sports quota. I think these are the three big agendas. I think it will keep me busy. for And Startup 100, of course. So I think that will keep me busy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much,